Here are a few more practice problems where we focus exclusively on uh, the translation between predicate logic <coughs> and English. So in the first sentence it says some SU freshmen do not take discrete math. So some would be there exists X. The domain we're working with here is the set of students. So there exists an X and S means there is an SU student. Um, we want the student to be a freshman, so we'll say f of x, and we also want the student to not take discrete mathematics, so and not d of x. So even though in English you can say, even though in English we can say su freshman, in terms of our predicates, we say there is some there is an SU student who is a freshman and does whatever. So even though the word and isn't in there, it is in the implication. Uh, similarly, in B, it says all SU freshman chemistry majors take calculus. And again, we have to quantify over, over students. So for every Shippensburg student, if we're talking about freshman chemistry majors, so if you're a freshman and you're a chemistry major, then you take calculus. So we have to, even though we can say all SU fresh, freshman chemistry majors do something, we have to say it in terms of every SU student. If you're a chemistry major, then you take calculus. <clears throat> and then finally, no SU student takes both discrete math and calculus. Um, it makes sense to say this one of two ways. You could say there does not exist an SU student. So that's the way to say it most directly. There does not exist an SU student who takes discrete math and calculus. So that's one way to say it. Or you could say it um, that every SU student does not take both discrete math and calculus. And we learned that, that uh, the second thing, this guy, we could also push that negation inside the parentheses and put it on both of those and flip that thing over and that would also be um, that would also be correct. So either one of these, these are equivalent ways of saying the same thing. And we often think about which one makes more sense to use when we want to say nothing happens or or something never happens. Now in the second part, we are just writing the negation of these statements, and so I'm going to write the negation using uh, formal logic and then let you read the negation that I wrote in English on the solutions, because it's hard to write long sentences on this thing. So the original sentence here was, there is a freshman who does, there is a student who is a freshman and doesn't take discrete math. So the negation of that logically will be for every student it is not the case that they're a freshman and they don't take discrete math. Now that gets some not nots, nots inside of nots, so it's really hard to parse that. And so in that case, we really do want to try to say that in a better way. So I will push this, this negation inside this parentheses. So the negation will go there, be a not freshman, and it will be here, not not discrete. So the nots will cancel each other out. And then again, this hand changes into an or. So the equivalent way of saying this would be for every SU student, either either that student is not a freshman or that student does take discrete math. So the negation here would be every SU student is either not a freshman or takes discrete math. So that would be a better way to say it. Um, and then one could write that in English just as easily. Uh, the second one, all SU freshman chemistry majors take calculus. Uh, we saw that above, that that was written as... Uh, where was that? Oh, it's here. All right. And so to negate this, I'm going to say 
there is a student where the negative of this happens. Now, this is really important because negating an implication is really uh, common in mathematics. So remember that for an implication to be negated, in other words, for an implication to be a lie, it means there has to be an example where the first part is true, the hypothesis is true, and the second part is false. So in English, we'd be saying some SU freshman chemistry major doesn't take calculus. That's all. So the opposite of all SU freshman chemistry majors do take calculus is some SU freshman chemistry majors don't take calculus. And so to say that using my formal logic, I say there is a student who is a freshman and a chemistry major and doesn't take calculus. Okay, so you can actually see that, that construct of the hypothesis of my if-then being true and the conclusion of my if-then being false. And then finally, <clears throat> um, I want to have the negation of this uh, part C. And, and actually, I mean, writing it this way is fine, but if it's written this way, it's really easy to see how to negate it because it has a negation out in front of it. So if you have a sentence that starts not something, then the negation is just the something. So the negation of not there exists X, blah, 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 is that there exists X in S. And if you write that in English, then it makes sense that if someone says no SU student takes both discrete math and calculus and you think that's a lie, that means you believe that there is some SU student who takes both discrete math and calculus. And that's what that says right there. So as I said, I'm not going to write those statements in English. Um, it's pretty easy to do from the symbolic statements and, um, and the solutions to the worksheet are on the back side.